Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Nick. Uh, this video is a little bit different. Uh, I've been working for the last three or four weeks on a theater set build for a play. And uh, I, did, I didn't know where to post this, so I figured I would post it over here. What can I say? I'm a better you know, <laughs> woodworker and uh, builder than I am a video maker. But uh, stay tuned to the end and I'll have a little bit more information and stuff I forgot to cover, uh, as well as kind of things coming up. Okay, uh, just finished up the theater set and um, give you guys a little behind the scenes tour but um, going from the workshop they have these like i think they're 18 feet tall doors pretty neat <clears throat> and then those doors lead to this theater which is the one i'm working in it's a thrust stage i think it's just under 200 seating there's the electric shop, and then if you go straight, that's into a standard proscenium stage. Back through there is the green room, with one dressing room, and then upstairs, a bunch more dressing rooms. This is gonna be the stage right entry door that I just came through. And this is where the doors are that I showed you on the other side. Nice little smiley face in dust. We try, it's, it'll be tough to kind of show all this. It's not set up for the actual play, tonight's final dress rehearsal. Um, this is one of the facades that I did, and then it reverses and it's a, I'll try and show it. Should have warned people about motion sickness, but kind of a screen door, porch. I had to add the apron. That's why I was here, just putting this apron piece on. Stage breaks went on, I think, yesterday, the day before. And uh, they wanted a kind of a generic coat of paint on there, and uh, it got dripped all over. So I had to quick touch up the uh, wagon there with flat black. The props and everything get moved out of the theater uh, before the performance, before the house opens. Uh, just it's fire code with ingress, egress, and certain things in the hallways. So we'll swing around up one of the aisles here. And like I had mentioned, it's a thrust stage. Not a lot of people are familiar with that. And that's because it thrusts out into the audience. It's a little bit different than what people are used to. And then the proscenium is from here to here. And I think this one's right around 23 feet. And I want to say it's 26 feet from the grid to the deck, the stage deck. We'll go down a different section here. And then that's the, uh, the main focus piece there is the bridge. And it spans 16 feet. 16 feet tall and it's four feet in depth uh, i'm going to be doing a few youtube videos on this um, just because there's some some really kind of cool parts to it um, some of the processes involved are really neat so then we'd be walking up stage behind the bridge stage left here are the stained glass windows that my kids made, as well as some other kind of frames and skeletons or whatever you want to call them. Um, the wings here, there's, by the way, because I showed you the grid, there's no fly space, if you're familiar with uh, theatrical terms. Some more stuff that uh, joins together, a big desk that joins together. Hopefully that'll be a YouTube video, um, but with French cleats in it, there's several configurations. So we're now in the stage left wing and there really isn't that much room. And then this would be the stage left door that would go into the green room. And here we'll walk you up the stairs quick. I'll give you a good look. That's a ghost light. I didn't bother unplugging it, I was just doing some touch-up work. 
and there's the control booth. Yeah, pretty neat. Another prop uh, rolling cart. Also, these are kind of cool. This wasn't my idea, but under stage lights, it looks really cool. But a uh, black line, almost like fishing line, with little tin foil, aluminum foil balls, and when they're hit with light, um, it looks like stars in the background. Because we're actually projecting with a gobo in one scene, a moon. Because there's a line in the play where if you want, I'll lasso you the moon, I'll give you anything. Um, I don't know if this will be a video or not, but we made these light fixtures and uh, That's pretty neat as well But yeah, give you one last look from the bridge here Like I said, it's just under 200 people that it seats. I want to say it's a buck 90, but Yeah But the bridge I was real happy with the design on the bridge because it's super stable. And that's kind of what I wanted to highlight in the uh, the video when I do one. I'll for sure do one on the bridge, but um, it's heavily secured down to the stage deck. And the um, stringers are on a 2x4, and every, everything's secured real nice. And that's where I get essentially my gusseting, my triangulation um, between the stringers and then the, you know, kind of the deck of the bridge, then the pylon down creates a nice big triangle and it's all secure. So stage left, stage right, there is almost zero movement. In fact, like next to zero movement. Um, this curtain wasn't in the original plans, but they ran out of room. And here you can see the pylons with the crossing. And four by fours, two by twelves, two by fours. Is essentially the primary construction weathered to kind of look like a rusty dingy metal and uh, some plates and I don't know this one turned out really nice everyone's super happy with it so kind of hitting a deadline here but cool well now I gotta run because uh, I literally have this span going on here because they're gonna start seeing actors here in about 45 minutes um, the house doesn't open for, I think for another two hours so but hopefully that paint will be dry like I said this is the final dress rehearsal full audience um, but they're not paid tickets typically they refer to it like a, a family night or something like that um, so on this particular flat I'm still gonna add some base and crown a um, couple little odds and ends I'm sure something will break something always breaks but um, if you stuck around till the end, I appreciate it. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. But I uh, figured I'd give you a little behind the scenes on the whole set and there, how everything came together. No food in the green room. Dang it. So there you go. Like I said, a little behind the scenes tour. Uh, I've been working on this set for about three or four weeks. Uh, designing, building, constructing. Those are synonyms, but either way. Um, and it's, it's been a fun build. I've been trying to videotape a lot of it, but when working under tight deadlines, you can't always, you know, 100% get what you want. I know there was one or two projects in this theater build that I wanted to make YouTube videos, and they were just so last minute that I just, I barely even had time to post them on Instagram, just a couple pictures. But uh, definitely projects I want to revisit. Uh, I got a lot of footage. I'm hoping to get about four or five videos here for my YouTube channel. And uh, I just wanted to do this little ending part. I just got back from the theater shop. I didn't even take my jacket off because I haven't even had the heat on in my shop for about a week or so. And um, yeah, I, 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 I got to get back in the shop because I'm still working on that TV lift gaming cabinet. And I, I'm going to do a, a separate update video on that because I'm actually really excited on how some of the special features are kind of coming together for that. It is a dyed curly maple, kind of a brick layered top. It is just turning out worlds better than I had even anticipated. So there's gonna be an update video coming on that. And, and earlier I had mentioned, uh, you just not being able to get you know footage of everything. And I'm not one for saying, oh, there's gonna be big changes, you know? But there, there are, I think I'm gonna change the direction of the channel slightly. And that's gonna be, 
there's so many things that I work on throughout the course of a month, uh, even the course of a week. And I would love to be able to share those things with you guys because a lot of them are unique builds. A lot of them are interesting. A lot of them are dissimilar materials or even unique materials. One of the videos that I unfortunately wasn't able to get, but I did post some pictures on Instagram, was of these pub tables. And I had literally three or four hours to finish these and they had to be on set. And I barely had enough time to take pictures, but that's one of the videos I want to come back to. But it was really cool because the base was four by four, you know, like fence posts. And the stem for the, the table was PVC pipe, and then the top was MDF. And it gets painted to look like wooden metal. So it's, it's not something where, you know, it's, uh, I would say, traditional joinery or anything like that. But it, and also I have, um, it's quite a ways down the line, but there's a, a, a theater, I wouldn't say project, but um, I've been taking on smaller set piece builds and uh, kind of prop stuff and set dressing and things of that nature. And there's a couple things coming up in foam that I think would just make awesome videos. I think people would really just go, wow, that's really a cool way to use different materials. And anyways, I tend to ramble on, but I think that if anything, that's what the big change is going to be. Is I'm gonna, These are going to be a lot more candid, uh, a lot less edited down because it's a lot easier for me to just kind of shoot what I'm doing and rather than try and set everything up and make sure it's perfect. It, that's one of my kind of OCD type things to where... I know I can make it better, but there, there's, I, I don't know, a diminishing return, I guess, on getting it just so, getting it just right. But it, it's a struggle, and, and that's something that I'm going to have to, but at least this way, for those of you guys that have been subscribed for a long time and have been emailing, I, and I appreciate all that, and people reaching out to me and you know wondering what I've been up to, uh, at least this way you'll get more frequent videos. And, and like I said, I find a lot of these extremely interesting I can maybe even delve into some of the animatronics I do for theater um, you know like I said the different materials whether it's fiberglass or silicone or uh, metalworking and things of that nature and, and there's no way I could do that you know in my shop uh, because a lot of times it's out of the you know different theater shops in different locations and I just can't set up you know, a camera and lighting and just get every little shot that I want. And when you're working around, like, for example, this theater build, I mean, at one point, I think for move-in, we must have had close to 40 people. Well, setting up a camera on a tripod and telling people not to walk, you know, it's just, yeah, it's been trying. So um, kind of just go over the bullet points here. I'm going to have several videos uh, on that theater set build. I'm going to have the bridge. I, that I got plenty of footage of because I started that one a little while back. Um, hopefully the desk build, it's kind of a neat three piece desk. Um, and it basically is kind of this clamshell, but when you remove the center section and just put the outer two together, it becomes a shorter straight desk. So, um, what else? Those stained glass windows. I, for those of you know that, that know me real well on social media, I kind of have a weird thing with stained glass and I, I, I can do actual stained glass. I've done that before. Um, I've been in the glass business for many years, but I'm always looking for cheap alternatives to making the most convincing stained glass. And, and, and a lot of that is the theater side of things. You know, you're not going to, A, you don't want glass on set a lot of times, but B, you don't have the money. And again, I'm rambling, but uh, the bullet points. Uh, and then there's three or four more in there that, um, how I even did the gusseting on the bridge. Uh, I was talking with my painter Gizmo. We've been friends for, I don't know, 15, 20 years. And he wanted, he, he agreed to do a video on um, theatrical painting, scenery painting. And so I think that would be really awesome. I, I touched on that a little bit in my rustic sign video. And that's just, you know, how to distress things and make them look old. And um, But anyways, yeah, I, I already went way, way longer. So if you did stick around, now twice I've said stick around. Um, for the whole thing, I definitely appreciate that. Like I said, if you have any comments, questions, leave those down below because... Uh, yeah, this theater stuff, I, I wasn't even, even able to back the camera up as much as I would have loved to. But, um, yeah, that's all I got. So, look for, oh, and the TV cabinet. I am, oh, I can't wait to get back on that. Opening night for the theater stuff is tomorrow. So, I should have some time to get freed up, get back in the shop. I'm going to have to clean the shop substantially. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but, yeah, a lot of cool things coming down the line. So, uh, stay tuned. All right, you guys, have a good day.